good rhythm work. This is not for beginners. In one of my recent videos I started a little series on good rhythm work. The video was quite exhausting as we dealt with three different rhythms at once or rhythm values. I've already explained them relatively extensively but I'll summarize them again very briefly. We discussed the subdivisions quarters, eighths and sixteenths. We learned how to count them and how to incorporate them into a bar. Or in other words we learned how to form a bar around the notes. It was theoretical and not very exciting so I thought today we're going to take a little more practical approach. What we are doing is that we'll take bars that are filled with quarters or sixteenths and see how we can use them on guitar. We'll work our way from easy to moderately difficult and then I get it a little bit more challenging for you. Okay so let's take a very popular rhythm that consists of two quarters, two eighths and four sixteenths and so it looks like this. One, two, three and four E Andy and turn it into a strumming pattern. That means that you strike the strings required for the chord downwards or upwards with a pick or with your fingers. What you need to internalize is the coordination of the stroke. For the quarters and the eighths you just need down strokes. So you play them with one stroke from the top string to the bottom de depending on which strings you need for the chord. What happens with the strings that are not needed for the chord? Either you muffle the remaining strings with your fingers or try not to hit them with your fingers at all. Play 16th notes alternately with a down stroke and an up stroke. So one down, E up uh, and down, E up. So if you play the whole bar you play one down, two down, three and down, down, and four E and E down, up, down, up. So we take a G major and play this rhythmic pattern with the right hand while holding the chord in place. I would also recommend this. Start with the rhythm without the chord and add the G as soon as you don't need to think about the right hand anymore. And then add the chord to your playing. When you pick up the G, don't stop playing. If you're not sure, put down the chord again and just try to focus on the right hand and get and add the chord as soon as you're familiar with the right hand. All right, so let's play this pattern together. Okay, that's too much for me. Okay, let's try another pattern. And we'll do the same thing. We play the rhythm, get into the groove, add the chord when you're ready to play the groove with the chord. And you could do this with lots of rhythmic patterns. Just come up with your own. In the next step, we'll try different rhythmic patterns again, but instead of playing a strumming pattern, we'll play single note picking. We take the first rhythm pattern, one, two, three, and four, Andy, and each beat now gets a single note on a string for example we play the three and on the g string and i divide the 16th so i play two on the b string and two on the e string like uh, one and one two three and four e and e one two three and four e and e So you see the direction of the movement of the right hand doesn't change. You continue to play down, 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 up, down, up. And we go back to the exactly same way as in the previous exercise. Concentrate on the right hand, feel the groove and then add the chord. The nice thing is you can now change two parameters to add variance to your playing. The rhythm 
or the strings that you played. And now comes the most difficult step, attention. Now we mix up the strumming technique with the single note technique. This is not for beginners. You should definitely have familiarized uh, yourself with the two previous techniques. So as you can probably imagine, we'll use our standard rhythms as the basis for the technique. So one, two, three, and four here and the end. Now we assign either a strum or a single note to each individual value. Let's start with the strum, then a single note on the A string, and then we play the rest with strums again, like this. One, two, three, E, four, E, and E. Now we take the pattern and for the three and we pick the D string and the G string. Sounds like this. So now you can change three parameters in your rhythmic playing to become more flexible. Rhythm, technique and strings played on single notes. Try it out, be creative, write your own rhythms, uh, fill them with sound and do it together with other people because rock and roll starts in your fingers and ends in the equipment you use, not the other way around and I'll catch you in the next hangout.